Greetings, YouTube. Back comic book guy here. Hey, I'm checking out Adventures in Science from 1957. It's an educational comic book with a really, really cool cover. Hey, guess what? I'm giving this comic book away, this 1957 classic comic book. I'm giving it away to a subscriber. I'm not going to say who. He'll make a video about it, maybe, when he gets it. Maybe he won't. But I figured I'd give you a quick look at it. Before I gave it away. Uh, she's not in the best condition. It's from 1957. And what do you expect? Ah, the days of the Civil War come alive in old comic book illustrations. Hey, I've got some of them. I've got a whole collection of these classic illustrated comic books. I think maybe if you look back, you can see a few of them here. On the fat comic book guy. Yeah. Look, it's autographed. Anyway, moving right along on April 2nd, 1954. The United States Navy jet airplane flew across. It went 2,500 miles in three hours and 45 minutes. And that's the way it starts. Is this is the history of flight. No, I'm not going to review this comic book. But I'm going to show you a few cool things from inside of it. All right, we're Wilbur, Wilbur and Orville Wright discover the power of flight. And really great art in this comic book. And you can't go wrong with Nazis using balloons. This book really scientifically tells you the history of rocketry and the history of flight. It's a very interesting book. Hey, this is cool too. It even it even covers the atomic age. Boom, you know, nukes and stuff. Wow. You know, this is one of the most educational comic books I've ever owned. And it's kind of sad I'm giving it away, but I have this subscriber friend who is really into aeronautics and this kind of stuff, and I think he'll dig this science stuff a lot more than me. And I've got thousands and literally thousands of comic books. I've got a pile waiting to be reviewed. I've got a pile up here that I'm going to file away for later. And I've got some over here that I'm giving away that I've got to get to. Oh, my goodness. I love the science of the nuclear age. Now, this is one cool comic book. Don't you think so? Let me know in the comments below. It even covers microbiology and stuff about stuff that might come from space, causing germs that can make you sick. Wow. This is so cool. Don't you think so? You went from Tom Toms to TV and from radio, from, from, from smoke signals to radio, the history of invention. Oh, God. And then we're, they're, they're, then we're going to get stories about it. Oh. Fourteen pages later, we're sending messages tied to pigeons. Uh, and 27 pages later, we enter the golden age of wireless as we're going to invent some telegraph. Fourteen pages later, and they're putting up some wires everywhere. I'm rolling through this one pretty quick because, like I said, it's not a review. It's just an overall taking a quick look at a book. I'm going to call these five-minute reviews where I spend about five minutes taking a look at a comic book but not showing the whole thing. If you want to see full reviews, if you want to see me take my time and look through a comic book and tell you the story and show you everything inside of it, you'll have to catch me on the Daily Dan blog. The Daily Dan Blog, B-L-O-G at the end. That's where I do all that kind of stuff. And here on the Fat Comic Book Guy, and when I get to a 1,000 subscribers, I'll do reviews on this channel. I promise. And, of course, all this technology leads to global war because that's the way it always goes, even in comic books. Check this out on the very last page of this comic book. We get to globetrot around the world. We learn about, about satellites and technology, and then we get to tell the tale. Of Amelia Earhart. Her great life in in very quick, quick form. And you can learn everything about her, her date of disappearance and everything. I bet my Ron wants to read that. That's a friend of mine. And he likes to read every little thing, so we'll we'll do that real slow for him. And the finishing touches the pioneers of science. I'm sorry, dude, when you get this for the little bit of damage to it, but it's from 1957. You should be glad it exists. It's like a fairy tale. Come true, and you could have ordered all these fairy tale books back in the day. And here's an advertisement for the classics. Yeah, classic illustrators. Now go through all these classic illustrators on this list.
and see how many of them I got by watching the video for Classic Illustrated Comics that's up on this channel already, I'm pretty sure. And to the lucky person I'll be sending this comic book to, congratulations, you're getting one from the fat comic book guy. Until next time, fat comic book guy saying, five minute comic book, look, blog over.